As the president returns to the White House, crowds gather in Washington for a second day of protests. Three lines of barricades separate them from the president's home. The protests, which began in Minneapolis after the death of George Floyd, continue to spread as crowds from across the country take to the streets, angry over police brutality. Earlier on in the day, Donald Trump said New York police should be allowed to do their job. Some of the peaceful protests took a chaotic turn as demonstrators clashed with officers and cars were set ablaze. The city's mayor, Bill de Blasio, has expressed solidarity with protesters over police brutality, but he's also promised an independent review of some of the violent demonstrations. Meanwhile, as major cities such as Chicago, Los Angeles or Philadelphia ordered people to stay at home, nighttime curfews were breached. 13 officers are reported to have been injured in Philadelphia amid incidents of arson and shop break-ins in the city's downtown.